All right, welcome everyone to another episode of Greg Plays Gran Turismo 7. This one picks up right where our last one left off with me trying to acquire more cars. And where we're at right now is at the cafe. We're trying to clear out these menu books, of course. And the one that I am currently stuck on is the Chevrolet collection. I'm trying to get a C7 Corvette from 2014, a 69 Corvette convertible and a ZR1. And uh, this is in progress right now, but I don't have a car that can really pull this off. Like the races that I need to do, I'll show you where I'm at over here in the world circuits. The races I need to do need like a 700 PP car. That may mean nothing to you. It may mean a whole lot to you, but I need to place third place or higher. There's quite a stretch between like fourth and third in these races. And I've tried this in this like just crazy Mustang that I have and I wasn't able to do it. So I decided what I'm going to do. I have a lot of money in the game right now. I have like $1.792 million. I decided I'm going to buy a Corvette and I found a car that I think can like pull this off. So we're going to go into Brand Central. I looked in used and there, there wasn't anything available that I could possibly use. So uh, we're going to go into Chevrolet. We're gonna go into the showroom and I'm I'm gonna buy this. I don't want to. It's expensive. It's $134,000 for credits, but it's a beautiful car and it's currently like at stock 653 PP. So like if I am gonna win these races, I'm gonna race at least three races with this car, maybe more if I really love it. And that's a shame because you can't like test drive this. So I don't even know if I'll like this car or not. I think I will. Uh, I'm at 134,000 credits, but I'm like at a roadblock in this game. Like I was progressing like crazy and then I hit this spot and I was just like, shoot, I can't do anything. So let's buy this. Uh, they have it in the orange colorway. They've got a lot of different colors. Like you might be tempted with like the red, but this is where I'm at on this, the blue. It's a thing of beauty. Blue Lake Metallic. It's Elkhart Lake Blue Metallic. Gorgeous. Okay, let's lose a bunch of money and I may even like customize this customize this a bit further as well and uh, beast it up a little bit looks like we've increased our collector level I do want to get in this car and now I want to go like put some things on it let's win by a good margin I'm racing with my wheel today by the way my wheel shifter all that stuff um, I enjoy it I'm not incredibly good like I watch these these dudes that are like gods at this game and i'm just like so impressed i'm not at that level i just play this for fun casually and um i enjoy it this takes us from us oh lowers us or does that raise us only two pp on that what about a supercharger that takes us to 667 they want us to be at 700 is what they recommend i just don't know how much money i want to throw into this car maybe i should race it real quick as a warm-up We'll get a little bit of money and then I'll see if I like this car and everything before we drop a bunch. Cause I did this with the Ford GT. I was like, Ooh, that'll be the car that I think I could take. And then I just didn't like the way that it drove very much. It didn't, it didn't do what I needed it to do. So we're going to jump in. I'll do a little quick race here and we'll see how this goes. It'd be like my little warm up lap as I get all in position here. I'm thinking about getting one of those, uh, like actual cockpits to, to sit in while I play. I just don't know. I don't know where I would put it. So third place, you get 12 grand for this. Let's let's see how it goes. Suggested PP 700. I'm, I'm like as close as you can get without doing anything to the car. And I wish I could also qualify too. It would be really nice. Let's just go in. Let's just, we'll just see. Five laps, Laguna Seca. If I get third place, which again, last time when I played, third place was like a mile away from the rest of the pack. Like I'll end up like probably doing pretty well, but like I'll sit in fourth place and it's gonna be kind of like nightmarish for me. But if we get this car like really dialed in and I get good at this, also I'm like, I gotta remember how to play. I didn't play for like a year, then I played just the other night. I'm in the wrong gear, which doesn't help. Let me know if the audio is too spicy for you guys. We'll just warm up here. Oh yeah, I gotta get used to this. I think the guys that I watch on YouTube, they are like playing this game. Like, this is their job. So it's, it's quite impressive to see. But I, I have a long way to go, so we'll try. See, I'm way, fa I'm way faster than this guy.
just put it right into the back of this car. I think I want to upgrade the brakes. I think that would probably be my most helpful thing. Maybe something with the suspension. It feels like it's going around the turns real nice, though. So that's good. I'm, I'm way too fast on that. Way too fast. See, no reason to bust a bunch of money into your car if you're not going to be competitive. I'll just keep racing this until we get there, though. This is my favorite part of the track right here. And again, I haven't, I haven't played in like a year. Last time I played was just the other night I streamed. I've streamed every moment I've played this game. So you can see like the progression. And I would say there's a little bit of complication with using the wheel, but I like it. It definitely makes the game a little bit harder. I'm in 10th place right now, by the way. A far cry from the third that we need to get to. I took that a little, a little bad. Yeah, that's bad, 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 bad. I know I'm better than this. We'll get there. I'll just make this like my, my routine. We'll just race this track, get better at this car. I'll have it completely dialed in. See, we're, we're moving up. The problem is you start out so far back and then my mistakes are definitely hurting me. I should just keep going though. I would start the, the laps over. But we're only on lap two. I just need to practice. We'll just keep practicing. It's a good lesson to be learned here. I think I'm going a little too aggressive into the turns. We need to uh, have already braked. And we need to accelerate right out of it. Play a little safe. A little safe. Too hot. Ah, I mismanaged that so bad. I was like, do I bump them? Do I pass? I'm just gonna do one of these. Sometimes you gotta wait for that to open up. That was my best lap. Hey, maybe we can keep doing that. Okay, seventh place in front of us here. Seventh, sixth, and fifth, actually. Oh, too hot, too hot, too hot. I'm too hot! Messed that up. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm pooched. Do we just exit? I think I should. Poof! God, this wheel is freaking jack, dude. All right, let's let's retry. Thank you. Retry. Downshift in the corners. Well, I play the new Harry Potter game. Do I look like I'm playing the new Harry Potter game? I'm I'm playing a racing game right now, dude. No, I'm trying to. My goal is to scare everyone away. I, honestly, I think my next new game that I play is going to be a golf game. I want to do a series called Golfing with Greg. And it's going to send all of the kids scattering, heading for the hills. I like simulation games, though. This is the kind of stuff that I enjoy doing. Just like this. I mean, I like to be better at it. But that requires practice. I feel like if I'm going to do it, I might as well live stream it. That car's a beauty. Okay, we're doing all right right now. I think my best move is to just finish the race. Let's finish the race without any mistakes. Mistake being like going completely off off track. Let's try to do that. Ooh, we are like, we're right in it there, aren't we? There we go.
coming up on 8th. I know what I could do to make that turn a little bit quicker. Shift. Okay, what am I in right now? What place am I in? Sixth. Fifth. If you look on the, the laps up there, though, the top right, I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't know if I'm blocking it. There is a, a huge discrepancy, though. The cars in the lead are just way out there. And I don't know what I need to do to catch those guys. Race better, probably. Like, this is fourth place. If it was just finished fourth place or higher, done. Like, like I'm way faster than these cars. It, it becomes very apparent. The question is, can I, can I catch these other cars that are way out in the lead? And that, I'm not sure if I can do. You can see all three of them. They just rounded this turn. Let me just keep racing. I'm getting, I'm getting desperate, though. I'm getting desperate, and that's the problem. I kind of just botched that. Can't catch him doing that kind of stuff. Back into fifth. Like, I know I can finish fourth. I can do that pretty consistently. Can I actually catch third? If I catch third, I think I can win this race. Like, right there, we just... We just took back fourth after going completely off the track. And getting hit from behind Oh, I tried not breaking that. I wanted to see what would happen. This is probably not the time to experiment, although it probably is, because I don't think I'm coming in third. There is that one guy that's kind of hanging back. I wonder if I kept it clean, if I could have caught up with him. We may never know. Let's just keep it clean the rest of the race. That was my goal coming in. It wasn't to get wildly aggressive. It was simply to... Yellow flag, what does that mean? Someone someone wrecked? I've never seen a yellow flag in this game. I've seen it in NASCAR. Yellow flag means... Uh, there's problemos happening. Oh my god, there's third up there. I just saw him. The fact that I can even see him is a, is a heck of an accomplishment on my part. He's right there. Literally right there around this turn. All right, all right, all right. This is my, this is that turn that sucks. Way oversteer on that. There's still two laps left. Oh my God. I might, I might do this. Let, let's, let's not get crazy. I'm getting a little excitable. This is like when you're getting to the end of Fortnite. Right there's third. Oh my god, I've got this. I've got this. All right. All right, be cool. Be cool, Greg. Be cool. It's just a 63 Corvette. Oh, he's terrible. How is he so far ahead that whole time? I hear other cars catching me too. All right, we're in third. Maintain and we got our car. Of course, I'd love to win and I think I could do that if I was a clean racer. We'll get used to this car, though, and I'm going to be a freaking madman in this thing after a while. Especially if we put a little bit of, uh, a little bit of spice on it. This is bone stock. Bone stock and harmony. Alright, uh, second gear coming up over my favorite part. I love this. Right there. We cut it. Bad cut. I love it, and I hate it. Hey, that was my best time going through that lap, too. I'm getting better. I'm not even going to upshift. I'm just going to do one of these. I'm 
coming for you in second, my guy. What are you rocking a uh, Viper? Is that what he's in? One more lap. Oh, we just, we're shaving so much time off of this too. Like crazy times. I was in the 140s, now I'm at 137, just from the little bit of practicing that I've done. Keep it on the track, Greg. Oh God. Oh God, that scared me. I got a little wide there and we almost put her in the dirt. I really don't care about second place. I mean, I'll take it for the extra money. Oh God, take it for the extra money, but I just need third. So my, my thing at, at this point is don't get aggressive. Don't be aggressive. But I kind of want it though. I kind of want it to the inside. Oh, I slowed down so bad there. Pushing him out and into second. Where's first at? Holy smokes, he is a mile away. I don't know what he's running, but the guy in first is nowhere to be seen. We got second place right now. I'm two seconds back, which, you know, might not sound like a lot, but in the world of racing, like half a second's a lot. Second place. Didn't think I'd be able to pull this off. I thought I'd be practicing with this track a lot. Okay, let's get around this turn. This is it. All right, I'll take that. Second place in the Corvette, baby. Let's go. Oh, I better back down the engine noise. Holy smokes. Yeah, I can't get turtle shelled in this. Um, I'm kind of over Mario Kart, to be honest with you guys. I'm also over this sunlight coming in. There we go. A little darker. But the camera should probably like that a little more. So, I've been playing... I played a little bit of Mario Kart last night. I'm in the world of racing. I, I enjoy racing games, of course. And uh, I'm just so tired of the rubber banding nonsense in that game. And like, I'm gonna make a compilation video where it's just me getting uh, perpetually screwed over by blue shells over and over and over again. I think that would be kind of a fun uh, video to make. I'm trying to work on a, working on some type of lighting situation here. Uh, just, just blue shell ruining me over and over again. I think that would be like kind of funny. So I'm, I'm gonna try to edit that up. Every time I get hit with blue shell, pop, 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 pop. All right, let's look at that. 18k made back 10% of the money that I spent on that car. Maybe a little bit more actually. I actually like Hot Wheels Unleashed better than Mario Kart, which could sound a little crazy. You raised 16 miles there. But this game I love. I love simulation style games. Gran Turismo is like, especially with the wheel, I don't think, like it's hard to go back to playing like regular games after that. Give me my car. Oh, it's what I have now, just a, just a lot older. That was cool, second place. I'm gonna come back and get first. I'm not gonna do that right now because you guys wanna see something different, I'm sure. But we got the Corvette Stingray convertible from 1969, looking beautiful. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Thank you for the uh, way to goes and the attaboys. Look at that beauty though. Sweet baby rays. That thing is gorgeous. I really felt like that car is way faster than like most of the cars out there. Like I really had to slow down to kind of play with the rest of the pack. The first car though, he's a madman. Look, it was nine seconds back off of the 2014 C7 Corvette. What's he rocking on that thing? Nine seconds, 11 seconds, 26, 28. So you can see, like, look where se like the second place guy would have been. And then look at like how, f what a gap there is. So it's like big gap, nine seconds, 11 seconds, massive gap, 26, 28, 30, 31, 31. So those cars were like all in a pile. Um, 
Interesting. All right, so uh, we're going to do... We have two two races to do. I got my car, which is what I needed. Uh, we have Special Stage Route X, or Route 10. This is the Clubman Cup 700. One lap. Or we have Daytona, where I'm trying to get third place or higher to get this. Let's do, uh, let's do Daytona. Oh, it's not just Daytona. It's like the uh, the fancy pants version. Got the little chicanes and the the little dupli dupes that are heading back there. Let's give it a shot. How many laps? Four laps. I get an '89 Corvette if I place third place or higher, which I would love. I'd love to take that. Who's with me? Oh God, it's th it's that guy in the uh, green C7. He's in second place right now. That makes me wonder about T Snows in first. That seems like it's going to be pretty, pretty freaking scary. But we're going to go. We're going to go. I'm in fourth. Oh God. I have no audio now either. It just did some type of reset. Please hold. Why don't I have any audio? Do you guys have audio? You have audio. Why don't I have audio? Oh, I need that. I need the audio. <laughs> what happened? What happened to my audio? Okay, let me try something. We gotta try some things and different stuff here. My screen went black. I lost everything dear to me in my headphones. Let me try, um... Oh, good, good. Oh, if you're watching this in the future, just uh, fast forward a little pinch there. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? I had this. I had an issue last night too. I wonder if it's my setup. Let's do a little switcherooski here. Hope it comes back. Cause I I need the audio from the cars. I need to be able to hear the engine. That's how. I'm... Oh, there we got something. This is definitely going to be a uh, a practice run. For sure. For sure. Beautiful. I can hear all the cars off to the side there. Okay, sorry about that. That was a little little messy. Shall we shall we just do a little practice? I don't want to go into a I'm not gonna win this obviously. Why? I wonder if it's my Yeah, let's go. Start in second gear, I'll do it. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Let me just run a little lap ski here. Make sure we can we can handle this Daytona situation. Beautiful looking outside. Darn Florida looking great. I was kind of confused where I was supposed to go there for a minute. I gotta pull my chair out a little bit too. You gotta get all the settings just right. The sittings and settings. Did you see that plane land in the background? That was sick. Oh, I'm not going to like this. That wasn't the part that I was thinking it was. Okay, now we're actually on the track. Oh my god. NASCAR Heat 17, let's go. Oh my sweet baby. Okay, um... Uh, what is, oh, this is the little chicane deal. I lost a lot of time on that because I was trying to figure that out in my mind, what was happening. Cut the corners and we're back out. That's wild. This track is fun. This feels like some go-kart nonsense here. Let's get it up on the wall a little bit. Fifth gear. I very rarely get into fifth. We might even get into sixth if I'm feeling spicy. Oh my goodness. Let's go sixth gear. I need a spotter. Wow. Oh, shh. That, that was not what I was supposed to do. All right. I'm definitely warmed up. <laughs> I'm def definitely warmed up. There's no doubt that I'm going to dominate this, right? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get destroyed. Mm. 
Okay. Can we do this, you think? I don't want to continue. I want to retry. I haven't even done a clean lap yet. I'm, I'm thinking that I'm somehow going to go in here and be a madman. You got to practice though, right? That's what the last la the last track taught me. You got to get used to what you're getting into. I love this though. I don't even mind not passing this one because I want to keep racing this track. Got a Viper in front of us with the Mustang in front of him. The old American muscle car races, boys. I got to get around him. Trying to figure out my gears, whatever I want to be. Definitely want to take this one a little slower. I'm very light on everything right there. But now we're, we're finding our way around. Maybe a little early on the shift. Very, very slow corner here. I think these straightaways is where I'm going to ruin people's souls. I'm, I'm hitting it low. Let's go. I got to get up on the wall. Oh. Fifth gear. Holy shiitake misses. Oh, I went into fourth. Okay, this is it. 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 Slower down. Greg, you're, you're a madman. You're not even supposed to be in fourth gear. I could race this in automatic probably and do a lot better. I just don't want to. This is what I like to do. What are we in right now? Sixth. About ready to just ruin fifth and fourth. These straightaways are absurd. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in a freaking fighter jet out here, dude. Okay, where is that spot at that I need to do this wild thing at? Right here, right here. I don't know I don't know where I'm going. This is this is uncharted territory. There's third place though. We got this boys. I'm feeling good. That Corvette. Oh, I'm in the grass a little bit. Okay, I, I, I messed that up royally. Royally, and I'm in neutral. That was that was so bad, but I think I'll make it up on the straightaway. That was big mistake on my part. Like huge mistake. This car I just I'm just constantly between second and third gear. I think I should like adjust that. That would probably like really suit me well. Get those a little further spaced apart. I just gotta pass this guy by the end of this race and we are, we're winning ourselves a Corvette and some money. Took that a little slow. Again, the straightaways are gonna be where it's at. I'm gonna dust this fool. Get up on the wall, run it. I see my next victim, fifth gear. Dude, I would play the NASCAR Gran Turismo race, sixth gear. All right, this is our spot. I don't know where I need to uh, break at, so I'm just gonna do it early. I don't want to mess things up, but I want this guy. He's gone, he's a dead man. I see first place up there, let's go for it. I haven't even passed him yet, but I'm going for first. Fifth gear. This is wild. Six. Can I get some of the time back? We're at a hundred and not. Can we hit? We hit two hundred. Oh sh shit! Talking misses. I was not paying attention to the track. <laughs> I'll admit that. Go go go! I'm still in second. How? How? All right. Uh, mental note. Don't get impressed when you hit 200 miles an hour. Act like it's another day of the week. Because that cost me possibly the win. Oh, now I'm all kinds of discombobulated. Okay, back in it, Greg. Back in it, buddy. You got this. What do we got behind us? Ah. Man, I was so close, too. If I had not been looking at my speedometer, I think I could have probably pulled that. 
Alas. Mistakes were made. Oh shit, Taka misses. I got a little squirrely. I'm racing like an absolute idiot out here. Okay, alright. Let's just calm down. Calm down. Everything's fine. I got enough speed on the straightaway that I don't even need to be worried. This car is god mode. I'm now I lost like five seconds right there on the leader. Happens to the best of us, I suppose. This is only lap three. I still got a whole nother lap left that I need to survive. And uh, I do mean survive. Okay, where's my spot? There, there's a two on the wall. Maybe I should track it with that two that's on the wall there. Cut corners. Just like in real life. I can see my guy. And we ride the wall, baby. Fifth gear. I always have to yell out fifth gear because it's so much fun. All right. Let's not get distracted with how crazy this is. He's right there. And I'm coming for him. Uh, we're about to hit 200. <laughs> Just so you know. Okay. We're getting a little... Uh, getting to be a little much, but those brakes, they, they uh, were saving me right there. Woo! Oh, I'm a little off, a little off, a little off. Man, we're catching him. If I had not screwed up... We might get him on the straight. Best lap. Let's go. Kind of helps when you're not getting all dinked out there. Literally right there is my my goal. Here we go. Final lap. I don't know where the lap ends, but I'm going to do my best to get there. Holy shit, Taka misses. Holy shit, Taka misses. Where is the finish line? Please don't be too far away. Okay, there's the two. Oh, frick. <laughs> I've been playing a little too much SnowRunner lately, boys. Oh my god, this car is a, is a god on those straightaways. How? That's my question. How? This has got to be the, the ending right here. Uh, it's coming up. Wow! <sighs> Most impressive. Always look to the right side and there's a fence. Number to... To gold, 300 down to 250. Okay, I got you, brother. I'm looking. That's good. That's good to have markers. Wow, eight minutes flat. I could have did better. I could have done better. 30k in my pocket. That's what I needed. We should put something crazy on this car. I might not even need it though. I was gonna put some upgrades on it, but it's like, if we're winning without it. Why not? 18 miles race. That was a fantastic track. Uh-oh. You guys ready to play the uh, the roulette game? It's been a while since I've done one of these. Oh! Sweet car. I love that thing. Got the 89 ZR1. I'm sure any of us would love to have that car. Reminds me of driving around in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. What a beauty. Not as, well, I won't say not as beautiful as the, what I'm rocking. Like, that had its place in time. But my car that I'm in, just like, next level. Look at those headlights that pop up. It feels so 80s and it's so glorious. Lovely. That thing, though. How do I do the roulette wheel? I forget how to do that. I want to do it. 45 seconds behind on last place. Ooh. Ugly. Ugly. Okay, let's let's see if I can do the roulette thing. I forget where to do that at. 
Oh my god, I could do this one too. I got ninth in this last time. Oh my god, I can I can destroy. Here's one, the GT Cup. I don't have the specifications for that. I don't think I need like an actual race car. Get 200k for winning that. We could definitely come back to this one pretty easily. I could get first. Um, let me figure out where I can do these roulette things. I I know there's a way. It's like you spin a thing. Um, I honestly can't remember. GT Auto Garage. It's not in Garage, is it? I don't think so. It's been like a year since I've done it. Oh, Gifts, I think, is under where it's at. Okay. A reward for completing a driving marathon. I'll take money or a car. Don't give me that part. I don't want the car either because I already have a, a better version of that. Don't give me the part. Okay, I got a little, little cash stack. I'll take a little cash stack. 5K, let's go. They make you feel good too. The music. <sighs> Making our money back. All right. Beautiful. We've got some cars in the collection that I guess we haven't uh, addressed yet. Got like some uh, notifications. I don't really like the way that they do that. Um, select new. Oh, we got the Tundra. I do need to do some off-road races. Got that 411.22 almost a year ago. What else we got? Oh yeah, we just got that. Beautiful. Equally. Which one do you guys like better? Do you like the, the 80s? Or do you like the 60s? I feel like that one, that one just feels like way cooler. That feels like money. This kind of feels like, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as, as premium, I guess. Oh, we also have the Raptor. That begs the question, what do I race like the truck races in? Do I race it in the Raptor? Or do I race it in the Tundra? That's a tough one. Here's here's what I'm rocking right now. That orange looks pretty sick. What if you could, you can change the color of your car? I wonder what that would look like. Go to GT Auto once. Car maintenance and service. What do we need to do? Do we need to wash the car? Everything's in excellent condition, it seems. Put a put a wide body kit. That'd be sick. Engine overhaul. Don't need to do any of that, it seems. Car customization. Put some wheels and stuff on this baby. How about paint color? Real paint color. Does it cost money? Oh, four thousand dollars. Wait, what? Why are they showing me a Supra? That's weird. Oh, it's the the sample car. I don't like that kind. Hmm. I don't even have an L one and R one, do I? Anyways, I'm not spending 4000 to paint it. I was thinking about doing a different color. Oh, what's this? I think this will have like all kinds of cool graphics for the car. Going for the 80s. Zero items, it says. Racing items. All right, I don't know why I'm messing around with this. We got, we got jobs to do here. Driving gear? Oh, we have like some stuff. That's pretty cool. Should we look all fancy? That, that kind of looks weird. Yeah, yeah. So I guess I don't have, like, how do you get designs? You have to download these? Because I see like the guy that I watch drive, he has all kinds of cool stuff. Maybe you create a design. Anyways, I don't really care. You never see your driver anyway. Except for when he's like fist pumping after he's done racing. Let's go do that last race. It's in the uh, special stage Route X or something like that, or Route 10. See what that's all about here in the World Circuits. Get my final Corvette, and then we can see what the next task is. In the Americas, special stage. Oh, this is just straight up oval. Oval track. Interesting. Let's give it a run. Let's run it. I get a C7 Corvette 2014. The newest gen. Newer gen. 
Holy shiitake misses. Alright, here we go. What's this gonna be like? Oh, I'm supposed to be in sixth gear? Third gear, maybe? Fourth gear? I don't know where I'm supposed to start at. There's one lap. This must be super long. I'm gonna dust these guys on the straightaway. If all this is is just straightaways... I gotta be careful, though. When that turn comes up, it's gonna be scary as frick because we're gonna be going like 100 and maybe 200 miles an hour at that point this is just like driving to work dude just driving to work sixth place we're gonna get first place before this turn even comes up i need more speed we're maxing out oh my god fourth place and we got third I need another gear, basically. We're halfway down the first part of the lap. We're like halfway. You can see the, that I'm gonna have to make a massive right up here. I don't know how this is gonna go. Like, what am I, I don't know what I need to slow down to. This is gonna be a little scary, but I think even if I slow down overly aggressively here, I'll end up winning this regardless because this car is just insane. Look at this. I mean, I'm blasting by these guys. Play a little bit of uh, Ring Around the rosy with them. All right, turn's coming up. This is where I got to, like, watch. Okay, uh, 9,000 meters. I feel confident right now. 10,000. All right, um... I'm still good, I think. I'm still good. I'm getting a little nervous, so I'm going to back off. I don't know how much I actually need to back off, though. I don't think I need to back off at all. This is just like a high-speed run. And my car is way over-equipped for this, it seems. Oh my gosh. This is wild. All right, just going to keep it pinned the whole time. My engine's going to explode. All right, turn one is done. Now we... We do it again. <laughs> Get cocky, you know what happens. I'm up uh, two seconds on the guy behind me. Maxing out at 222 miles per hour. Pinned. Absolutely pinned to the floor. The time's creeping up. I'm now almost at three seconds. This kind of sucks. This is not fun. Like Daytona was fun. It's kind of whack, actually. A tunnel. Beautiful. Almost four seconds up. I love it when you go in and out of a tunnel, your like eyes have to adjust for a second. It's very realistic. Okay, we've got the turn coming up again. Do I just keep it pinned? Or do we settle down a little bit? I think I'm going to settle down a little bit. I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to blow this. I don't think I really needed to, to be honest. What is this anyway? Is this like... I see like satellite dishes, I see like, this looks like an air airfield or something like that. 
There's like this track around like an airfield of sorts. Is what this feels like. This is where we started. That was lame. That was whack. Easy money though. If you want to make some easy money in the game, there's 22K you can make in five minutes, just like that. Literally just holding the accelerator down. We're now, uh, we've now driven 54.7 miles today. And we got our final Corvette finishing off the menu of Corvettes. Awesome. Curious to see what the next thing is. That's beautiful. All right, I don't really care about replays. I just want to see what my next challenge is. I was happy to get that done. That was like a big challenge of mine because I was trying to get through those Corvettes and now we've done it. We've completed that menu item and I feel pretty darn good about it. Let us exit and we shall go back to the cafe and see what our next challenge might be. Oh, oh, chef's kiss. Any Corvette enthusiasts amongst us here? Maybe one of those is your dream car. We've done it. Luca, it's been a year since I've talked to you, sir. This completes your Chevrolet collection. Once you collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about these cars. I got a, ooh, a roulette. Roulette. Okay, what do we got next? Oh, he's gonna tell me the story. Shall I narrate? Shall I be your narrator? Chevrolet's Corvette and Camaro are considered to be two of the most quintessential American sports cars in history. Let's get you right down here, guys. Right down here. Oh, yeah. The Chevrolet's brand was established in 1911, named after one of its founders, Louis Chevrolet. The first car it produced was the Classic 6, a large vehicle with an inline 6 engine. The most, its most famous model is the two-seat sports car called the Corvette. The first generation Corvette was unveiled in 1953. Look at that beauty. And Chevrolets are still being produced this day, cementing the car's place as an icon of American motoring. Very cool. That's beautiful. Hey. Okay. Get a wide body American car. We can do that. That's, that's so easy. Head to GT Auto and visit car maintenance and service. I think we might do a wide body uh, Mustang. Sorry, Corvette guys. Let's do that. That's an easy one. Like to try your hands at modding an American car to widen its body. You've got the Pan American Championship head, so it's a great chance to get your car ready. The first thing you'll need is a suitable American car, such as a Ford or Chevrolet. Once you've obtained one, take it to GT Auto and visit car maintenance and servicing to apply, uh, come back, yes. Okay, I don't think I can wide body the Corvette that I'm in, so I think I'll just do the Mustang that I've pimped. Pimped that thing out like crazy. Let's go to the garage. To the garage. Check out my gifts. See what we got here. No whammies. Oh, give me the, give me the, give me either of those cars. Oh. There was a big gold bar there. That could have been cool too. I think I got like the worst thing. 30 racks though. Nice. I'll take that. Money is always uh, always a good thing to have. All right, let's look at the new car. The 2014 Corvette. I thought mine was yellow. I got a red one. Interesting. Okay, so let's change car. I don't think I can put a wide body kit on that. So let's sort by... Um, performance points and there there is no way that Ford Mustang is better than that Corvette even though the PP is 655 no way sir no way you know it'd be kind of cool actually I wonder what the Mitsubishi would look like with uh, with a wide body kit this was my like OG car this is where I started out the game with let's see what that thing oh he, he said I had to do it to an American car yeah I better I better not then that is not an American car. That is a Japanese, which I, I love Japanese cars, but 
I'm pretty sure he said get an American car and do it. So let's get in this beautiful Mustang. Let's throw a wide body on this thing. I think that sounds incredible actually. All right, GT Auto. And car customization. I did put a wing on to that Mitsubishi, I believe. Where was that fat? Wasn't under car maintenance, was it? I remember seeing it. Engine overhaul. Wide body. Um. <laughs> it's kind of dumb. It actually makes my car slower, too. Do I want to do that to my beautiful Mustang? I, I think I might just do this to a throwaway car, maybe. Although it doesn't really matter. I think the Corvette's going to be my jam going forward. Frigate, let's do it. Yeah, I, I love that Mitsubishi, dude. That car is sick. All right, let's 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 put the wide body on this. Will they widen up the wheels, too? Like, I need some wider wheels. Let's install that. Got 79 miles on that thing. It's a, it's a granny mobile. That was cheesy as frick. See, now I need my wheels to be wider, to come out a little bit further. Okay. Let's try this. Done. Success. Great success. Just check something out here real quick. Paint color. The wheels. Owned wheels. Who makes really good racing wheels? American Racing. Nope. Nope. Oh. Nope. 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 Hmm. Can I get them like a little bit wider? Oh, those are kind of sick. I'm like a fan of like dark color way. You go like all black. Those are a little too spooky for my liking. Kind of like those. Kind of like those too. Oh, with that, that little bit of a lip going around. I'll save it just in case we have to do. I actually kind of like the stocks on that. Okay. Let's go back to GT or uh, the cafe and let the guy know we did the job. He's going to be like, great, you just wasted $10,000. It's probably a matter of taste, but I just love seeing cars with wide bodies where the wheels are offset on the outside. Speaking of which, you can change your wheels at GT Auto. Go ahead and give it a try if you're interested. I considered it. A World Circuits track has been made available. The Autodromo de Interlagos. And we got the Pan American Championship. Interesting. I think this might be another race of Corvettes. Um, finish in the top three. Now that you've collected cars made by Ford and Chevrolet, our next step is to tackle the Pan American Championship. You'll race on tracks in the U.S. as well as on Brazil's legendary Interlago Circuit. Try to finish in the top three, and once you've done that, come back here. All the best out there. Well, thank you, Slappy. Okay, this is a little intimidating. Everybody's rocking their kitted out cars out here. All right, what is that blue car? That's scary. My car does not, my car does not look like that. Good Lord. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I want to I want to select my car. I don't think this is going to be as fun as it seems. I think I'm going to have to do a series of races and do really well in each of those. Um 
I wonder if I should... Let me get to my new... My car. The, the Corvette's my car. It just is. Say what you... Say what you will about the... The wide Mustang. But I think what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go... I might do GT Auto. I might, I might like, not GT Auto, the tuning shop. I might kit this a little bit. Like, we we could go wild on this. Like, if I were to put, let's see, a racing exhaust manifold takes me up like seven horsepower, which isn't much. But if you did like a racing muffler, that takes me up 21 horsepower, all the way up to 775. Let me try racing these races bone stock. And if we have trouble, I'll come back and I'll just f go crazy with this car and we'll be unstoppable. You know, one thing I would like to add are like some decent brakes. That would probably be nice. Let's let's do that. Let's let's add some like some creature comforts to this thing. If I can brake faster, it means I can get on the the gas a little bit faster too. And they've got oh, we got the medium tires. I wouldn't mind going like some soft tires actually. Okay, let's go to racing. Racing brake pads, 2,000. Why not, dude? Wait, let me see something once. Semi-racing. Uh, uh, uh. Club. Oh, the bore up. They don't like me doing that. Okay, yeah, let's, let's do that. I'm gonna go the air filter too. The twenty hundred dollar air filter gives me fifteen horsepower. Let's freaking go. That's like easy, easy to do. And we'll do the racing brake pads. Easy. I want to do. If we did the supercharger, oh my goodness! You guys can't see it, but that takes me to eight hundred and seventy four horsepower if I put a supercharger on this thing. Oh. I don't want to get too crazy. I wonder if the competition would also like, and then we do the exhaust manifold and then we do the racing muffler. If I did those three things, how, what is, yeah, that's probably what I'd do. I put the supercharger, racing muffler and exhaust manifold. I'm looking at like 35 K to do that. And this car would be absolutely insane. I'll, I'll race it as is. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it easy. Let's try to do the Pan America Championship. I don't know how many races this is going to be. But I'll try my best at them. Um, where do I find that at, anyway? It's not here. Maybe there's a place for championships. That would have been a nice thing to kind of figure out, I guess. Oh, here's the championships down below. We uh, didn't do the Trial Mountain. Why didn't we do the European one? Oh man, I could come back and do that. I could totally do that. How many races are we looking at here? Okay, three races. We gotta do Blue Moon Bay Speedway, Daytona Road Course, my favorite one, and then a, a brand new one that we've never done before, which is the Autodromo. Um, let's give it a run. Gotta, uh, what, do third place or better? Uh, two tracks that I've never run before. With no, like, no preparation whatsoever. Six laps at Blue Moon Bay, which is just a... It's like uh, the Pocono Raceway. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Going against some heavy hitters here, but... Oh, makes you feel kind of... Kind of dramatic a little bit. Let's go, boys. Oh, dang. That was sick. Okay, don't get distracted by all the, the cool stuff happening, Greg. We got racing to do. Six laps. I love this freaking game. I'm going to put this down as my favorite PlayStation 5 game. Blue Moon Bay! Fifth gear, finally. Finally, like, coming to, into play. We got six laps, lots of time to make moves. Not a move into a wall though, ideally. 
flung that down into third gear like a motro. All right, all right. This is where uh, things get a little spicy. No, oh, no, it's not. I was thinking there was a little dip down. Let's get that turn. Everybody's in a straight line up here. I got this one one. I'm still in 11th place though? What? Oh god. I'm a wall eater. Didn't really affect me at all. Just zing by everybody here. Bye. Seventh place. Halfway done. I'm going to need more time to pull this off, I think. I definitely didn't hit that the way I wanted to. Oh, good God. Hey, settle yourself. Settle yourself. Get out of my game. Six... I think I could stay on that whole the whole time. I just have to be careful with that wall. This one I cannot stay on. Yeah, don't no bueno, no bueno. Don't go into that one breaking. Bad things happen. Fifth place though, taking a couple walls, eating a couple walls for lunch out here. Okay, fifth place. Everybody's right here. We're all right here. Oh my god. Was that the short wall? I'm doing terribly in this one. Without really any penalty. Hit the wall, no big deal. Lap four. This is the fast wall, right? Yeah, this is the big one. This is the big daddy. I can just stay on it through here. It's that other little one. This one I don't think I can though. Oh my sugar balls. Don't try this at home. Okay, third and fourth right here. That would have been a great finish right there, dude. Okay, they're, they're telling me third gear is where I want to be around this turn. I hate to agree with them, but I have to agree with them. So if you're wondering where I'm seeing that information at, there's a little indicator down below that's like, hey... It's about to hit the fan in for you, in front of you, so, uh, chill. This one, this is the one that I can take full speed. So you gotta learn the track a little bit, too. This next one, though, I'm in first place, by the way. This next one, no, no bueno. They're saying fourth. I gotta start using that. I never use that indicator. I'm just like, eh, this is what feels right to me. What feels right isn't always the right thing. Let's look behind us. Looking good. One lap to go! Go from 6th gear on the brake all the way down to some 3rd. This car just eats these turns. I love it. Love this Corvette. Best car in the game so far for me. I'm sure there's better ones though that are a little bit speedier. Blue Moon Bay. The fast turn. Love that turn. Oh, and don't eat the wall. Perfect. Uh, fourth gear. Don't mind if I do. Oh. I feel like... Oh, f I was going to say how good I felt, but then the car literally just felt like it was going to rip out from behind me. Where is everybody? See you, suckers. First place. Let's go. Race one. First place. How'd that wall taste? Delicious! Fifty-two racks! I'll take that. Twelve points. This is like uh, Mario Kart without the turtle shells. You're doing well, they let you continue doing well. If you do poorly, they let you continue doing poorly. So, um... We have to consistently do well throughout these races. I've never raced that track before, but really enjoyed that one. The next one is uh, is is one of my favorites.
We're going to Daytona, baby. I like this one. A little scared in that last one. I don't know how that one's going to go. We're just going to play it safe. I'm going to try to to end well here. And then the last race can be like icing on the cake. If we do well, we do well. If we don't, then no big deal. No great deal, man. Okay. 15th place. Always starting from the back, which is a bummer. Luckily, like we're faster than most of these guys. These losers out here. Yeah, these guys in the back are just like... Oh, frick. Keep, keep her on the track. I thought I was going into the sand on that one. And you don't like to go into Florida sand. Why is that? It's coarse. And it gets everywhere. What's the phrase? It's coarse and itchy and gets everywhere. Hey, you're racing the car that I won, dude. Focus RS. Alright, you're messing up my flow, my dude. You're messing up the flow of me passing all of you guys. Ooh, ugly. Oh, you're becoming a nuisance. Lap traffic. Bull crap. Here we go. Say goodbye, everyone. All I need is these straightaways. 12th place. It's going to be hard fought to try to pull this off in five laps to get up in front of everybody. Just dusting that dude. 11th place. Okay, where am I looking for? Uh, my two is where I like to start breaking. I was a little late. I was a little late. I was a little late. We're, we're in the grass, but recovered it nicely. Well done. Pat myself on the back if I wasn't shifting. Okay, I will. Little Corvette action. See you guys. Taking the low, the low route. Oh my god, I'm just too fast for these guys. Too fast, too furious. Um, okay. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Let's not do anything crazy. That spot right there is my nemesis in this track. Seventh place. Got a got a little squirrely there. I'm gonna pay for it here. Oh shit, Taka misses. I I'm done. Um, I gotta restart. Can I restart? I, I guess I can retry. That's good. Frick. Hey Brad. Sorry, I got a little uh, squirrely there. Got a little too aggressive. We gotta survive five laps of this. There's plenty of time. I don't need to get too aggressive. Plenty of time for me to pass 14 people out here for the victory. I don't need to be aggressive. Just just take it easy, man. Just take it easy. Like right here. Let's just go down to second. They want me to go to first. No thanks, dude. I'm just gonna pretend like I'm uh I got all the time in the world to pass people. I started looking at the the lap counter racking up and I'm like, geez, I still have seven people to pass, but it'll happen. Can't get into the cabbage like that though. That's not gonna work. Not gonna work. Ooh, blown engine. Let's see if I can go to the, ooh, that was, that was a rough turn there. Got to relearn Daytona. Come on, bro. <laughs> Nice job locking me out, though. Temporarily. Alright, 12th place. I think we're doing okay. Five laps in here is a stretch, though. That's a lot to take on. Go high. I'll have to see what a lap time is. Okay, there's the two. I'm standing on the, on the brake pedal right now. We're gonna have to cut it a little bit. I got a break before too. Oh, 
Holy sh shit, Takamises. That was sketch. That was against all of my rules right there, where I'm like, I have plenty of time! No, 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 no. Okay, we've got that big freaking turn coming up that I don't want to miss. Right here. This one gets me every time. So we met- Oh, sh- Yeah! Told ya. I got a little nervous right there for some reason. I was I, I I wasn't sure what to expect. This is where I completely ate it last time. Can't have that. Play it safe around the turns. Winning them on the straightaways. Seventh place, halfway through. Race is not half over yet. They're liking my laps. Thank you. Ooh, that turns. That's an ugly one. This Corvette, though, my goodness gracious, it likes to take those turns. Feels good. And I have some of the assists on, by the way. This is not what some of the professional guys would be doing if they were racing this. Like, there's like stability control, ABS, I think, is on, all that stuff. But this is how, like, the game comes stock, so I'm not, like, sweating it. Plus, I'm adding an added challenge with having to use the wheel and shifter and all that crap. I just, I think it's important to be challenged, but also have fun. And that's what I'm, I'm experiencing. Maybe someday I'll get good enough that I don't need all those assists and maybe I'll practice with it. But for now, I think it's okay. Fifth place. Fourth place. Jeez. I'm just, this car almost seems overpowered in the turns like I I can't even I shouldn't even customize this because it's gonna be too fast all right let's break it down here last time I was standing on the brakes this time a gentle glide in not bad not bad we don't need to get crazy because we're uh we're right where we need to be all I need to do is wait for a straightaway and these guys are dust okay okay that's where I messed up last time we don't need that again. That turn right there, that little U-turn, is the bane of my existence on the Daytona track. I just, I, I guess I don't anticipate it. But we can't mess up now, we're doing too good. Oh, it's gonna get dark. That's gonna be neat. Standing on the brakes. Here we go. These guys are gone. Alright, I gotta survive some more laps. Unfortunately. Oh, I don't know where to brake. I was helpful having all those guys in front of me. Uh... I slowed down way too much there. Oh god, okay. Alright. I hear them right behind me. Half a second behind me, I hear it. Let me see if I can extend that out a little bit. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I was I was not prepared for that. I'm trying to figure out why I have a red box beside my name up there. I don't know if that's always been there or if I've done something wrong. Okay, here's my little U-turn. You know what? Let's pretend we're going to the drive-thru at McDonald's right now. Nice and easy around the turn. And then you gun it as soon as you get your drink. I might have some penalties that I have to have to, I have to take advantage of, or they have to take advantage of me, really. I don't know.
Probably for ramming that guy, I would imagine. Okay, take it easy here. Just kind of got to get into the like the flow a little bit. Headlights on. We're racing that night at Daytona, baby. Oh, they're saying that I'm up half a second. I don't know. Maybe that was just my lap time. Okay, let's break it early. Break early. Don't want to do anything crazy. Ooh, I love hitting the inside of these. That's fun. Hit that really nicely. Yeah, this is probably like my favorite track in the game, honestly. Freaking love this. You got a little bit of that NASCAR feel going around like this, and then it takes you inside. So much fun. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, God. I thought that was my spot. I just hit the brakes big time right there. My spot's right here. Everything, like, looks different now at nighttime. It's kind of cool, actually. Oh, this looks really cool. Okay, here's here's my... Here's my nemesis coming up. We're just going to take it easy. Here's what I need to do. Get really wide out here and then bring it on the inside. But I need to do this way faster than that. Ferris wheel in the background. Nice. Yeah, I think we could hit that way faster. I'm just super nervous, so I don't want to. This is the final lap, by the way. And then we got the uh, final race, which is uh, a place that I've never been before in Brazil. So that'll be cool. Always up for trying out new tracks. Oh, gosh. No, we don't need that. Thought I was going to get spun out there. Got a little squirrely on the grass. Okay. Okay. Be cool. Here we go. All good. Love that thing. This little this little thing is actually really fun, but it takes all the all the speed away from you, which I guess is probably good. I think this might be it. The final turn. Hit this straight away, and we're out. With the dub. Yeah, I have a, cl I have a clutch down here, too. Um, I might be able to show it to you, actually. I don't know if I have enough cord for it. Let me... Uh, I can hold it upside down. I can shaunt it to you. There you go. See that? So we got a... We got gas, brake, clutch. And then I have a shifter over here, which you you may may have seen me hitting that. Um, but yeah, that's that's the setup. And I just sit at my desk. This uh, steering wheel attaches to the desk, as does the clutch. So I just sit in a regular, like, chair. And I sit here and play. I'd like to maybe do, like, a setup where I have, a like, a cockpit. But honestly, this works just fine, and it works well because I have the camera here. And I have my, my TV, which is a pretty big monitor. Uh, if I were to do the cockpit thing, it'd feel more natural because you'd be, like, driving like you would in a car. But, like, I need a lot of space for that. And then I would also need to uh, like get a different camera or have a second camera set up. And it would just probably add more more uh, complication than what's necessary. So that's why I, I do this the way that I do. And it works out just fine. Back to the music for you guys. We got one more race left. 35K for winning a Daytona. I'll take that any day. Yeah, this is kind of like NASCAR a little bit. We got 24 points. The only guy we really have to worry about is Fraga from Brazil, so he's going to be racing in his home country now. I'm a little nervous, actually. We've now raced 90 miles today. we got one more race to do, and then I'm going to win the Pan America Championship. 
which is pretty darn cool. My eyes are like ruined right now. I'm just sitting here like with my eyes open, eyes wide open. And we got like, the lighting sucks, dude. I don't know what this track's gonna be like. I've never raced it before. We still have a lot of sunlight coming in. Yeah, it looks like the sun's mostly, mostly done for. All right. Yeah, I've seen the fold-up cockpits. I just, I just think this is probably my best bet. It kind of works. Um, maybe I'll get rid of the Lego shelf behind me and put a cockpit back there. This is one thing that I'd really love to have as a driving simulator. I feel like you, you kind of need that in your life, you know? Oh my gosh. All right, race three, five laps. Looks nice. I'm, I'm ready to go. Let's try it out. Rolling start, last place, of course. Oh, I got a, hold on, I got a cable on my on my gas pedal. That would not be good. All right. Last race of the Pan American Championship. Never, never been on this track before. We'll find out what it's like. Together. Oh, I kind of like it. I don't need to come in first necessarily, but I need a pretty solid showing, especially against the green car that's probably in the lead right now. Because just like Mario Kart, they sent these guys up, so it's always like the same people, which makes sense, because if you have the fastest car or you're the best driver, you're always going to be in the lead. But it's frustrating that you gotta, you can't qualify. Like, if I could qualify... Ooh, a little off-kilter there. If I could qualify, I can not start in 15th place, which saves a lot of race time. You think about how many seconds the first guy is starting out ahead of me in 15th. It's a lot. I like this track, though. A little shorty, a little shortcut. Ooh, that's spicy. Equally spicy. I'm a little worried when I... If, if and when I get into first place, I'm probably going to overshoot that like crazy because I'm going to be like thinking I got this and then not getting it. Oh, got it. Slightly squirrely there. Ninth place. Up ahead of me. My future. Ninth place. Every position I take is points. This is a tournament, essentially, so I'm trying to get uh, first place in this. Oh, I wasn't sure where to go there. That was a little scary. And I'm just maxing out fourth gear. Okay. Oh, shoot. I was not... I was really not prepared for that. Let me see if I can salvage this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to salvage this. Ninth place now. It's good practice. Where where was that? That was like near the start line. I had no idea that was coming up. Holy smokes. The joys of running a race on your first time on a track. A championship. At that. Ooh. Got squirrely. How many spots did I lose? Did I even lose anything? Probably lost something off that. That was a massive mistake. That was catastrophic, like, put your life into a wall mistake. This is that spot that's awful. By awful, I mean kind of fun, actually. Here we go. We're still in this. I'm not going to let one little flying off the track into a wall set me back from... Seeing if I can pull something off here. I mean, it's not looking great, but we're racing. If we do get down to the very end, I probably will reset this because I don't. I want to win the championship, and I don't want to have to go back and do all those races again. So I'm treating this like a practice, and if anything good comes of this, that's wonderful. Okay, this is. This is the spot where I get confused. And then I got to figure out where that turn is to really slow down. I'm going to slow down right here. Even that, even that was a little not enough. Holy. Yeah, that was, I really got to be more patient with that. 
What are we in? Six? Three, three laps down? Or I'm on the third lap, actually. We're still in this. What I'm going to do is just not get crazy. Literally, everyone's right here. And there's a there's lap traffic up here. The guy in the red car is lap traffic. Taking it easy. Got lots, lots of time. Alright guys, clear out. Clear out, let me through. Took fifth. Oh, all the, my my nemesis is in second. If I can just block him, I win the championship. I'm in fourth, by the way. Okay. There's my guy. I gotta beat this guy. This time we're breaking early, even though I'm going to want to push so I can beat this guy once I'm past him. Oh, shoot. I did it again. It's okay, though. <gasps> oh, ugly, ugly, ugly. Oh, there he is. This is the race of the ages. I'm going to beat him. Okay, we got one more lap left. Don't let me do that again. Wow, the car almost got loose there, too. That was a little scary. I really need to chill with that. He was tempting me, though. It was like he was right there, and I was like, I'm going to pass him. I could have probably backed off, though, and we would have been just fine. This is the guy in first, by the way, in the, the Viper. I feel like the car is getting very, very loose. Like, I'm, I'm getting a little squirrely around a lot of these turns. I'm getting to just chill. I tell myself to chill, then I don't chill. Oh, he really slowed that one down. Holy smokes. Let's see if I can take him on the inside here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got this. We're gonna we're gonna creep, but Oh shoot. Keep her out of the cabbage. There he is. Why am I fighting you? I don't have beef with you. It's the guy in the green. Me and him are enemies. He's four points behind me, which means that he's a threat. He's in third. If we can keep him back in third, that'd be great. This track is actually kind of sick. I love this freaking game, dude. Okay, my spot's coming up, guys. Everybody chill. I'm not even going to... I'm just going to break right here. Yep, look at that. Oh, God. Don't look at that. That is just a nasty turn. Very nasty. That's the last time I had to do it, though. We're on the final lap. In first place. Looking excellent. Let's, let's be very conservative out here. All of our turns, slow. Dialed in. We don't want to spin out now, do some crazy stuff. We're just going to take it easy. Because I know I can win this regardless. This car is just OP. They need to nerf, in the words of all the things that Clark Van says, they need to nerf the Corvette because this car is insanity. Like, this is... It feels like a race car. In second, okay, nice, nice, nice. It just wants to take off. It's so wild. And the turns, on the turns, it's incredible. I feel bad because now I'll never go back to my Mitsubishi unless I have to. I'm going so slow right now. Still, still taking it into the cabbage a little bit there. I also love this BMW that I have on here. But I've realized as I've raced in this game, the cars that I love are rear-wheel drive cars. I just love the way that they get around the track. That's why I didn't like the Ford GT. It just wasn't... 
It was no bueno. All right, this is it. Man, we've come through today. Rather nicely. Finished. First place. Too freaking easy! Set of Corsa. I have it for PC. I have yet to play it. I got it on sale for like $4. Um, I was thinking about hooking the wheel up to the PC and trying it out. How does it compare to Gran Turismo? Just as epic? More epic? I got a trophy called Motor Mania. $35,000 for winning the championship. Beautiful. That's what you love to see. Raced over 100 miles with you guys today. That's nice. Got 70 racks. Awesome. Oh, and I got some great... Oh, my God. I love Porsches, and I just got three of them. Why are we so freaking dark? Oh, it's that. It's the white wall behind me. Setting off our... Uh... Oh, shoot. I got to select a card? Okay, which card? I can't do this on my own. Which card do I want to go with? I got to fix the, the camera situation here. Left, middle, right. I can't pick... I can't pick it. This will fix my camera. A lickety split. I fear choice. Left, middle, right. Which one are we going with? There we go. We're back. We're back. More realistic. Okay. Chris says middle. You got it, Chris. I love it. That is the uh, 2001. 911 GT3. I'm probably gonna have to win all of these. Ooh, if I could choose, which one of those would you guys choose? I kind of like. Hmm. They got the 09. I might like the older one. I like the older Porsches. I'll show you which one that I have that I that I really like in the game. That is a thing of beauty, though. I think I have one in the game right now. A hey, level 15. Moby Dick mission is now open. I got Grand Valley Highway 1. Oh, that's the one that I watched the guy race, and it's so cool. I might race that just for funsies. Okay, let's exit out of here. I'm loving this game. Oh my gosh, I love this game. Okay, exit. Let's see what our next menu item is. I bet it's the like the Porsche races. The Porsches. We're going back to the cafe. Excellent work. You won. I have your reward ready. Take it. You've earned it. Thank you. And I got a roulette ticket. Roulette ticket. Upgrade your Porsche. Tune to a PP of 600 to 650. Woo! Okay. I got an idea, though. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. All right. Upgrade your Porsche. Porsche. For you elitists out there. Oh, there goes my my beloved. I don't know if I want to trade that for a Porsche. Makes me big sad. I want to say that I have a few of them, actually. Let's look at our uh, gift first. Some extra money for this tuning would be nice. Or that Porsche right there would be nice. Oh, you son of a biscuit. They give you parts for a car that you may not even own. It's so dumb. It's a semi-racing muffler for a Ferrari. Ooh, I have no need for that. Straight garbage. All right. Anyways, here's my car. I We got to change the color, first of all. And the yellow... It's nice, but like we, we got to do something here. Let me try something once. Manufacturer. Let's go to the, the P's for Porsche. I think I might already have one that's kind of kitted a little bit. No, that's my, my only Porsche. Uh, am I in that bad boy? Change car. It's a little weak, isn't it? Where is it at? Did I miss it? Did I miss it? Where is it? This is the car that I loved. I love this BMW. 
That thing was a beaut. Where is my Porsche? Am I am I just completely missing it or what? Sort by uh, manufacturer. Oh, there it is. It's white. Okay. I was looking for a yellow car. We are going to change the, the color, though. I, I'm not digging it. I don't want white. I think we might go red. I think I feel like a red, a red Porsche would be absolutely sickening. Yeah, I don't know if you can sell the parts or not, to be honest with you. There used to be a thing in Gran Turismo, too, like where you could, like do like the car wash and oil change and it would increase the uh, the power of your car. Let's see if it still works. Their little animations are pretty darn cheesy though. I don't know if it did anything or not. Let's, let, let's uh, I'm not gonna bother with the car wash because we're just gonna be stripping the paint off anyway. Let's go into, uh, is it car customization I'm assuming? Paint color. Okay. Real, oh, I could, you could do pink. I want to change the, let's go with the, the only Porsche colors. Let's keep it legit. Ooh. Some of these are kind of fire. Like, I, I like that. That's like more of an orange. They've got a lot of colors. And again, I, I wish they would show me my actual car, not not a super. I want to see what it looks like on the car that I'm actually driving. Could do like a, a crazy green color too. Lots of blues. That's kind of cool. That's really cool. I'm just going to go with like a red. I'm going to be like a, a boring... Like I like that red a lot. Let's throw that red on it and see how she looks. $4,000 wasted. Okay, and then how do I actually apply the paint? Do I have to do it here? Oh, could I have just done this here? There you go. Beauty! I can paint the wheels. I'll keep those stock, whatever. Okay, I think we're done. What do you guys think? That looks... I like that better than the white for sure. That's kind of sick. Okay. Let's close out of this. No, no, no. No, I said cancel. Save. Uh, I don't know why I'm really saving this. There's probably a better way to do this. I don't know. It works for me, though. Close. Yes. And now we've got a red car. Oh, my God. That's just straight up gorgeous. Okay, we've got to kit this thing out. Got to get it to, what do you say, like six, 600 something? What was it, 650? I have to get the, the PP power up. Let me see what he said at the cafe. I wasn't paying an incredible amount of attention. Tune to a PP of 600 to 650. All right, watch my money disappear. My money is going to go very quickly right now as we get this thing going nuts. Let's go to racing. Um, what can I do to really... Racing muffler, obviously. That takes it... Oh, it's already at 558. What can I do like that's the, the best bang for my buck? That only raises it three. Can't do an intercooler. 
polished ports takes it to 560. Man, there's not much move in this thing, really. Semi racing. Uh, can't put a turbocharger on it. I can't put a, a supercharger on it. How am I going to do this? I guess it's. I, I might be able to get it to 600. Stroke up. It only gets it to 560. Hmm. All right, I guess let's just start throwing money at it and see what happens. Purchase that. It gets me to 562. F 564. 566. Oh, man. Um, polished ports. 568. Oh, my God. This is, like, so much money I'm throwing. What about extreme? <laughs> Going to extreme. I don't think I want to do all that. Um, might as well put the racing brake pads. We're just going to be throwing all kinds of money at this car. Why can't I do those things? Weight reduction does not add anything to it. Why can't I put a supercharger on this, though? Racing crankshaft. Oh my god, this is gonna... It's gonna take all my money. I guess I'll, I'm just gonna start doing all this stuff, I guess. What's under club? What can I do here? Bore up should do something. I guess I'll do, I'll just do everything across the top of this here. I gotta get it to 600. I don't even know if it's gonna make it. That doesn't do jack diddly. Um, the weight reduction doesn't do anything. How about the suspension? Does suspension give me anything? No. I might have to put another like 60 grand into this car. That doesn't like move it at all. There, that takes me to 591. That doesn't move me at all either. Hmm. I need, uh, I need like nine more. That actually lowers me. That doesn't do anything. That lowers it. That lowers it. That gets it. That moves it like nothing. Okay, height adjustable sports suspension. Did I just already buy suspension though? I think I'm just I'm just wasting so much money on this. Sports brakes. Hey, that that brings it up a little bit. Are there any other brakes that I could put on? There's gonna be like racing brakes. There's brake pads. Okay. Just gotta just gotta put all kinds of money into this. Sports brake kit takes me to five ninety four. Okay. Clutch and flywheel barely moves it. That brings it down. Brings it down. This is annoying, dude. What else can I do? Sports suspension. There you go. Sports suspension. Gets me right at 600. <laughs> Holy smokes. How much money did I put in this freaking car, dude? I'm right at 600 now. <sighs> Barely. Okay, I'm gonna put this into the Porsche Cup. All right, menu books. Oh, Nuremberg Ring, oh my God, that's the car that I, I really need to get. That thing's sick. Oh, that's my recommended, that's the car I have. Wait, recommended car? I have that car in my collection? 
It shows recommended car. I, I don't think I own that car, though. That car is not in my collection, as far as I know. Unless they just gave it to me. Let me take a gander. I don't think I have that. Let me sort by uh, power. No, that's the only car that I have. They're like, recommended car is this. Well, I, I don't have that unless they want me to buy that car. I'll do a run with this. We'll see how it goes. If I have to put some more stuff on it, I'm willing to do that. Let's go into World Circuits, and then I'm sure it's in Europe. I would assume. Wait, wait, wait. Where, where are these things at? Oh, it's probably Championships. Not European Championship, I don't think. Let me figure out where I need to go. This is where things are getting a little, little weird. Okay, cafe. Oh. Menu books. The World Circuit Race. Okay, let's go back to World Circuits. See where these are. What's this update? Oh. An extra track. Okay. Um, World Circuits. I don't know where I'm going to do these things. This was one, wasn't it? No events. There's one here. But I've already... Where's my spot to unlock these, exactly? They're not here. These are all the, the Japanese ones. I'm not quite sure where I need to go to unlock these. It's kind of weird. I'm confused. Um, like in the cafe. Usually, like, there would be a race available. It's a menu book. The Porsche Cup. Okay, is that... That's one of the championships, I'm assuming, right? You can win a 9-11 by finishing top three. In the, okay, so that, that must be in a championship. Let me go see if I can find that championship. I didn't see it on my list. All right, let's let's see world circuits, and it must be a championship that's down below here that I I I missed or didn't do. France. Yeah, I don't. There, there's no new. There's no new championships. Where do I find the Porsche Cup? Unless I'm missing it, let me look it up. Let's see if I can find it. Usually they're listed pretty clearly there, like the U.S. ones were fine. If you're watching this in the future, just fast forward a little bit. Um, Porsche Cup. It's in the World Circuits menu, which is where I'm at, correct? Yeah, I'm in World Circuits. I don't see the Porsche Cup, though. Hmm. 
think it would be here. Unless I'm totally missing it. Huh. See, I have I have no Porsche cup. I don't know. Maybe I'll figure this out for next time. I guess this might be a good place to wrap it because I I have to figure out where I need to go. And we can kind of get into the next thing. So that was like the Chevrolet thing. That's actually good. Yeah. Let's let's plan for that. We did the Chevrolet thing. Conquered it. Let me go full screen here. Conquered Chevrolet. Dominated. I'm very happy with the outcomes. We got all the cars we needed. We moved forward in the match or in the story. And now it's like, where do we go next? And that's what I have to figure out. So the next episode, I guess, I'll be a Porsche racer, Porsche racer. And we'll try to uh, progress through this game where uh, I'm just having so much fun. I love playing this, especially with the wheel and stuff. It's just so darn fun. And I enjoyed the heck out of it today. Uh, I just had to figure out where to go next. So I'll figure that out like on my own time. I'm not gonna waste your time doing that. And then in the next episode, We'll do the Porsche Cup, and I'll win like a really crazy, awesome Porsche. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Hope you have a glorious rest of your day, and uh, we'll see you all in the next video.